I'm Sherry Locke with Gulf Coast State College Continuing Education. Today I want to talk to you about why you want to learn CPR. First, the commonly known reasons why. Heart disease continues to be the number one cause of death in the U.S. CPR does increase the survival rate of someone in cardiac arrest. Although most common in public places, the cardiac arrest often occurs at home. And CPR is easy to learn. Almost anyone can learn CPR. And if you're capable, everyone should learn CPR. Now I want you to consider the people that we train and imagine the reasons why. Many of our students are healthcare providers, public safety and teaching professionals. Some are foster parents, construction site supervisors, contractors, bankers, hotel and hospitality res representatives, state and federal employees, even children who come to learn CPR. Our own Gulf Coast State College Maintenance Division made sure that all maintenance personnel receive CPR with AED training. I am CPR certified. Our training is conducted in small groups, both on and off campus. Our new registration system creates such seamless registration all the way to the training process. Students attending training actually have fun. It's hard to believe that it's even CPR training. Although we use the required feedback devices, the students are able to see for themselves the correct rate and depth of compressions. We have exceptional instructor instructors on our CPR team. Most have many years of healthcare provider experience and some are first responders. I recently asked one of our highly experienced instructors why it was important to her that everyone learn CPR. She provided four very candid and never to forget reasons. First, she said, bystander CPR is very important because the patient's chance of survival is much greater. She also mentioned that because having the confidence to know what to do in an emergency will help you with actually doing it. And she also mentioned getting CPR provides some chance of saving a life and getting some is better than none. Also, my instructor mentioned, when I teach them, I give them the down and dirty of it. In sum, the instructor tells her students that the person in cardiac arrest will not survive without CPR. She goes on to say, that's where you guys come in, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Lieutenant Gina Salati of Bay County, Florida's EMS was the lead CPR and AED instructor for a company who received training over a one week span. After the training was conducted, the company training coordinator called me to report the training and the instructors were outstanding and went on to request additional training. Please note that Gulf Coast State College is an authorized American Heart Association training center and Gulf Coast State College is your training center. For CPR training, please visit our website, email or call me, Sherry Locke, at 850 872-3819. And on behalf of our CPR team, we hope to see you in class.